Graph, holy cow, x squared plus 9y squared plus 6x minus 90y plus 225. This is a conic section. And you're like, no, it's not. This is just a really big problem. No, it's a conic section. What we have to do is we have to group these x's, we have to group these y's, and make it look like x blah 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 squared over a number plus or minus y blah 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 squared over a number equals 1. We have to make it look that way. So this is how you do it. You're going to take your x values, you're going to group them together on the left. x squared plus 6x group them together on the left. You're going to take your y values, you're going to do the same and group them together on the left. So 9y squared minus 90y, and you're going to subtract the remaining constant from both sides, so equals negative 225. Now the process that you're going to do for both x and y is a process called completing the square. What you do is you first off make sure there's nothing in front of x squared, thank goodness. You take half of the number in front of uh, 6, okay, take half of the number in front of 6, you're going to square that and add that to both sides. So half the number in front of 6, or in front of x, is 6, so half of that is 3, square that, you're going to add 9 to both sides. What that allows you to do is now we can factor that out. 2x plus 3 squared. Okay, good news. Here's the thing, though, with red. Can't do that quite yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the 9. So plus 9, y squared minus 10, y and I'm going to set that equal to negative 216. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 9. I'm doing that to get rid of this guy. So divide everything, 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 everything by 9 makes you go away. I have x plus 3 in parentheses squared over 9 plus y squared minus 10y equals negative 24. Now I'm still going to complete this process, okay, where I have to take half the number in front of y, half the number in front of y, so negative 5, square that which is 25, and add 25 to both sides. What that gives us is x plus 3 squared over 9. Now we can do uh, perfect squares and make this y plus, minus rather, 5 squared, and look at God equals 1, which is kind of what we needed. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy over 1. Now, what we have is we have an ellipse. So let me put all the information about an ellipse up here. Now, if you're like, how do you know that's an ellipse? Because that's a plus sign. If it was a minus, it would be a hyperbola. What's important about this ellipse is this number underneath x is larger than the number underneath y. So we're going to compare it to this version uh, of an ellipse. So you have y, sorry, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And again, we use this version of the formula when this number is bigger than this number, which it is. Okay, now down here in the limited space that we have, we care about the center, we care about the vertices, and we care about the covertices. Okay, this center in these cases is going to be hk, 
the center in these cases, or the vertices rather, in these cases are going to be H plus or minus A, K. And then the co-vertices are going to be H, K, plus or minus B. Now I have to identify what H, K, uh, and A and B are. Okay, so let's go to the equation that we came up with. H minus or X minus H matches up with uh, X plus 3, which means H is negative 3. A squared matches up with 9, which means A is 3, square root. Y minus 5 matches up with Y minus K, so K is regular 5. B squared matches up with 1, so B is 1. The center is HK, so the center is negative 3, 5. That's the center. The vertices are H and A plus or minus, I'm sorry, H plus or minus A, K. So the vertices are going to be H plus A, so negative 3 plus negative 3, so negative 6, K, which is 5. Or the vertices could be H minus A, which is negative 3 minus 3, which is 0. Add that backwards. Doesn't matter. Okay, H minus would be negative 3 minus, yeah, I had, yeah, negative 6. And plus would be plus. Okay, so I had that backwards. It's all right. I, I still come up with the same thing. My co-vertices, which I'm going to write here because I'm out of space, are going to be H, which is negative 3. K plus B, so 5 plus 1. And H, which is negative 3. K minus B, so 5 minus 1 is 4. So my center is negative 3, 5. So negative 3, 5. My vertices are negative 6, 5. So let me get a different color. Negative 6, 5 and 0, 5. And my co-vertices are negative 3, 6, negative 3, 4. And we get an ellipse, which is like an oval. It's going to look like this. Wish me luck graphing these. I'm terrible at graphing things using uh, this pen that I have. Although I will pat myself on the back with this one. Okay, major axis, minor axis, um, looks like an eye, the all-seeing eye, Lord of the Rings. But wasn't that awful? It was. Lots of fun, though.